From time to time, I really enjoy composing my own pieces, and this week is one of those occasions when I've written something completely new, which none of you will have heard before. So it's my great pleasure to introduce this to you. It's a piece which is based on the Easter hymn, O Sons and Daughters, Let Us Sing, which appears in many, many different hymnals. And it's a piece that I've been thinking about doing something with for quite some time. And it was on Easter Sunday, just a couple of weeks ago, that I put pencil to paper and came up with, uh, with the piece. So it falls in, into various verses. The original has about between 10 and 12 verses, which I, th I thought was rather too many to set. So I've chosen the five of those which are, which are normally done. The first verse pairs the sopranos and tenors and the altos and basses. Um, who each take a different part of the tune. The second verse is all about the visit of the women to the tomb, so that naturally falls to the sopranos and altos, and they sing that by themselves. And the organ part has the feeling of journeying in it, it moves around, and um, that helps to um, get that point over. There's then a short linking section, which takes us to the next verse, which is sung by the tenors and basses. And it's all about the appearance of the angel and the quote from the angel is taken by the tenors. And the organ part here is quite mysterious and um, hopefully gets over the idea of, of, of a, a special appearance. The next verse sees the choir paired where the tenors and basses take the tune, the normal pitch, and the sopranos and altos start the, the tune a fifth higher and half a bar later. So there's a bit of a canon going on there. And it contains the line, blessed are those who have not seen, and yet whose faith has, hath constant been. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear a very um, sustained note called a tonic pedal. So this is a, a, a low note right at the bottom of the texture in the bass. And it stays there for many, many bars. So it, it's um, giving this idea of something which is very, very solid and unshakable. The final verse sees the choir singing in um, unison for the most part and then they break into harmony right at the very end and then the organ does some different things sometimes cutting across the rhythm that you'd expect um, and brings it to a conclusion. So the performance we're going to hear is by our own choir so I'm very grateful to them once again for stepping up to the challenge. Um, each part has been recorded in isolation and it's been edited together by myself. Some people are singing more than one part, which we're able to do by the wonders of technology. So it's our own singers singing and the organ is played by the software. So I hope you enjoy this online world premiere of my piece, O Sons and Daughters, Let Us Sing. <laughs> 